guys welcome back to another video i actually just got finished doing my hair during my lunch uh but today is thursday still clocked into work this is still a regular day and i know i wanted to get something done so i've been very productive lately and just like using my time more wisely with the time that i have available like just during the day like during my lunch getting something done or just right after work trying to be more proficient in stewarding my time properly because that is one issue that i have had but i decided to Day to just blow dry my hair and this is what it looks like oh girl give me a little lioness <laughs> but this is what my hair looks like uh just blow dried straight I didn't want to put uh I don't want to straight straighten straighten it today like I didn't want to flat iron it today I just kind of wanted to leave it just straightened with the I almost want to say naturally straightened but it's not naturally straightened I just you know put some heat to it to get it that poof straight but like the kinky straight I guess I should say more of the my natural textured hair as it's straight there's a good line but yeah I am actually going to show you guys what I use on my hair because I haven't I don't think showed everyone I don't remember when the last time was when I showed you guys like I said I just want to share what I use I use it all the time I get a lot of dandruff on my scalp so what I use is mainly for scalp health and growth so that and moisture because my hair can get really dry I tend to take my time when washing my hair I don't wash my hair every two weeks like I should but I, you know, when I do, I try to pay extra attention, close attention to my scalp. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use. Yeah, so let me go ahead and give you guys a little rundown. If you follow me on Instagram, which we will put right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me talk about this on my stories. You've already seen it posted in my Like to Know It account. So disregard if you're already aware. But <laughs> let me just show the rest of you guys. So if you guys watched my vlog, I wanna say about three or four weeks ago, I don't remember. You saw me using this Nexus Carefix line for the first time um i used nexus all through high school but i started using them again i want to say around july and i usually use the nexus humectress conditioner and the therapy shampoo but i was starting to use this nexus care fix just to see how it was and it is really good this particular time i didn't use the mask the last couple times i've used it i used the leave-in conditioning mask but this one this time i just used the conditioner and by golly <laughs> it's so good my hair is very soft nexus has always been really good on my natural hair so i don't ever have a problem using them i used to not think they would be like you could use them on natural black hair but you can um so i really enjoy using it smells good one and two it really makes my hair soft and manageable which is one thing that i try to make sure that i'm addressing with my shampooing and conditioner because it's very easy for my hair to get tangled and just easily matted so i just want to make sure whatever it is i use helps with detangling helps with the scalp health and just keeping my hair soft and manageable so I use that and I have been using this Nexus scalp treatment which includes vitamin C and protein that you can put on your scalp to help with your scalp health and one thing about it is it really helps with detangling your hair through the scalp so what you do is just use this nozzle you just kind of spray the nozzle in spots on your scalp and then go through your scalp and just kind of rub it through and marinate your scalp with this treatment and it really is really good and adding the vitamin C which I think is what's helping detangle your hair so yeah use that I use this olive oil ORS heat protection serum I've been using this Ooh, I don't know other than the chi heat protection spray protection serum which smells amazing other than that one this is the only other one I use I just use one of the two the other one is very it's a lot more lightweight than this one the chi is a lot more lightweight than this one but I wanted to use something heavy because I'm wearing just my natural hair out not straight so this is perfect to keep it kind of from flying away and frizzing and stuff like that so it's really really good and sometimes I tend to forget to put this on I'm not gonna lie which is why I have some of the heat damaged areas in the nape of my hair area my kitchen let's put it like that um, because I'll forget to put on the heat protection serum in some areas of my hair when I'm flat ironing it but this also is really good it's the uh, there you go Garnier Fructis sleek and shine anti frizz serum which is really good with helping down keep down the frizz especially when you are flat ironing your hair 
pattern or if you're wearing it like in some kind of protection protection style then you can use that again to keep the frizz down and keep it like more smooth and whatnot but yeah this is all that i use in my hair i'll have everything linked below if you guys want to check it out and try and see how it works on your hair again all hair types are different i don't know what my hair type is i don't get the numbers and the letters like that i just know my hair be nappy and this is <laughs> this is what i use on it to help keep it manageable next this is really good for my hair uh nairobi is also a good line if you have dandruff like i do and yeah they're really good with keeping the day it's called the dandruff free i think it's dandruff free line they have and i'll probably remember hopefully i remember to put them in the description as well if you want to check them out but a lot of this you can get not i don't think you can get nexus at your local black beauty supply store but this one i know you can this i got from heb which you could probably get it at cvs or any place like that this may be at heb walmart and all of that you can get nexus at walmart and all that but i'll have it all linked for you guys if you want to check it out just purchase it online without having to go into the store keep yourself socially distancing safe and check it out on, on your hair and see how it works but yeah so yeah this is what the hair is looking like just straightened uh, or just blow dried i should say i use the silver bird blow dryer that i received when i was in cosmetology school in high school i still use that blow dryer it still works perfectly fine granted your girl has to tape it and i gotta do i gotta kind of rig the comb on but we're not worried about that it still works perfectly fine so what i'm gonna do with my hair tonight is just put it in two plaits so it can have a little wave to it also with its natural texture that's what i'm going to do on tonight and i'm actually supposed to go meet a blogger buddy tonight she's in town and probably go meet her for some drinks or something right after work so i have about an hour and a half left of work and then I will see where we can go to meet each other. Maybe she'll be okay with me introducing you guys to her. But she's also a plus size influencer on uh, Instagram. And I think she has a blog. But yeah, I will ask her if she's okay with, you know, you guys meeting her. And we will let you guys know if you can, I guess. I don't know where I was going with this. And this girl I was trying to find an end, but... <laughs> got lost um but yeah let me go do a little bit of work before it gets too late i thankfully am very caught up on my workload i'm very caught up on my workload which is perfect because i have i think today tomorrow not i think but tomorrow and monday left on um, work for i go on my what, what? vacation <laughs> i'll be off on vacation for about a week i'm excited because you girl be needing a break like two jobs is a lot for anybody and like i said i don't have any kids or a husband so if y'all are out there balancing like that kudos to you you get all the grace and the glory <laughs> if you just even if you don't have a job and you have kids you get all the grace and the glory and the praise right now for me because i'm just trying to keep, make sure i keep myself right i keep myself clean and i keep myself getting up in the morning and going to work that's what i'm just trying to do you know <laughs> so i can't imagine having to do it all by especially if you're a single parent having to do it all with kids don't even mention a husband my lanta i mean y'all cool if if y'all husband's watching this right now y'all cool i'm not saying y'all aren't but it's just you know having to think about someone other than myself right now outside of god so my god <laughs> just look i'm just i'm just now getting a social life with my family if you if they were on this camera they would let you know that i was the girl that was like mm, oh i'm okay with not meeting I, I would be okay with not seeing them before for like six months and and now I'm like, hey guys, wanna get together? Hey, you know, wanna talk to people and have a little bit of a social connection with them. And it was actually changing before COVID, but COVID just pushed it into overdrive. So I'm be getting better with having a social connection with everyone, so there's that. But girl, let me stop talking and go get on this clock before I'll be doing this full time involuntarily, okay? <laughs>
welcome to another day. I was gonna say another vlog. I forgot, I, you know, did a little bit of vlogging yesterday. Y'all, so, about last night's dinner, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I was vlogging and I forgot to record us and she would have been okay with it. She, we just forgot. We got caught up and like just having a good conversation and it was our first time actually having real conversation. We had been following each other on Instagram for a while but it was our first time really having dialect with one another and so we met, went out to eat and the restaurant was a lot more full than I would have liked it. It was a little bit packed but I was like God be present and I'm gonna be away from people for a while just in case but oh god you know i was just if i trusted my cooking skills a lot more i would have invited her over to my house and we just ate here but we actually just kind of enjoyed each other's time which is good and she's from virginia so she's gonna have you know she's going to go back home today today is friday and yeah i'm going to <laughs> go to work so yeah like i had a good peaceful morning i think i'm gonna wear my hair like this for the rest of the day y'all because i'm just not in the mood to have hair and all on with my face right now so i think i'm just gonna wear like this for the rest of the day i mean i'm not i don't plan on going anywhere like i got little stragglers out and stuff but that's fine i don't plan on going nowhere i do need to put on earrings it's something about having earrings on that makes you feel really good for the rest of the day so hold on Got my earrings popped in. Yeah, so, oh, update on the skincare. Last time I talked to you guys was when I updated my bedding and everything for the holiday and just kind of to give it like a new fresh feel, you know what I'm saying? I have slept in the bed. It is the coziest, most cushiony, comfortable bed, y'all. I already love like good, soft feeling uh, mattresses. I don't know what this dance is, but that's how I feel when I go to bed. <laughs> I already feel like I love those good, soft mattresses. So adding the comforter and the new sheets and the all the pillows and getting new pillows sleeping pillows and and having that throw at the end and all of that has just really made it so just very comfortable and cozy whenever I get ready to go to bed and I love to like get in bed and just be like mm, sink in it so that's exactly how I feel now that I've redone that bed I'll show you guys what it looks like again and have all of this stuff linked below if you want to check it out on Walmart everything was from Walmart except for the pillow shams the pillow shams the euro shams they're from Amazon but I couldn't say that on that last video because it was sponsored <laughs> but skincare update y'all I have started to use some one of you guys brought to my attention that black people do need sunscreen still it's a thing i've always known this i just haven't paid attention to it and actually applied it to my skincare i've actually started using this <laughs> this neutrogena uh ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen it is 100 plus spf spectrum broad spectrum i don't know what all that means but i feel like the, i think the higher the number over 25 the better so i started using that every day and it's made a huge difference in my skin one because it's protecting it from the sun two I, like it's a Lot smoother I don't know what it is but it's a lot smoother and that mask that I showed y'all last time the origins drink up intensive this is the origins drink up intensive overnight hydrating avocado mask girl get sis get sis okay because this is so good i haven't been using masks for the last four or five months but this is so good only thing i wish they would have done is be a little bit more specific on the directions it says apply twice a week or as desired gently massage onto skin clean skin at bedtime tissue off like when like do i, I do i tissue off the next morning because by then it's already so thin and i'm about to wash my face i don't need to tissue off i wish it would have been a little bit more specific in the directions but what i do is i've just left it on overnight and then when I get up in the morning, I'm feeling all zooey and fresh. It is so good. I have had dry patches all here. All around, first of all, why is this light so bright? All around here, around my little mole, all on my cheeks right here, and on my chin. After just using this twice, it has drastically decreased the dryness in my skin. I still feel a little patch here, but this was the biggest patch. Like it was, I could feel the dry patches all right here. Even after, you know, you don't want to exfoliate too hard because it's your face. <laughs> but even after exfoliating, I would feel all this dry patch right here. Now it's just down to like a little bit around this mole. That's after only using this thing twice. I'm not kidding y'all. It is so good. And I have sensitive skin and it has not been irritating my skin. Like I told you guys, I had, I had dialed things back with the skincare because I was, I had an irritation. I had to dial everything back, go back to the basics and then add things in one at a time. And you, you know, you're supposed to do that anyway. I just get like excited and want to use everything at once. But uh, yeah, I just added one product in for a week, a week and a half to see how my skin actually reacts to it, how my skin feels with using that. And so I've been using this for a week and, yeah, I've only used this twice so only a week it just in those two times 
sis is 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 <laughs> you know she's doing her thing so yeah i have a couple other products that i want to see how my skin adjusts to if i add it in slowly but not right now also i'm gonna show you guys these towels i think by now i should have a link for them and a little discount code if you guys want to try out the clean face towels like i said i like using them more than my towels on my face because you know bacteria builds in the the cloth the fabric towels that we buy um and this one i use it on my face use it for that moment or or whatever it is I'm doing I can use the texture side to help with exfoliating use the smooth side to just dry it and just kind of pat dry or whatever and when I'm done with the towel for that particular moment throw it away and then I have a, it's a pack of 50 I'm okay with it it's not expensive and it has also helped me keep my face clean so while I'm trying out all these products I don't need to be using towels that have added bacteria you know if you're using the same face towel for a couple days or something like that that stuff adds up so rinse throw away all right who got time for using all the water to do all of the laundry and, and constantly using the different towels every day that that's a lot so i don't have time so let me show you what it looks like when i have it installed in my cabinet thing so here's what it looks like installed in my i have it installed in my cabinet door so when you buy a pack or two or three or whatever you'll get some patches to go on each corner and you can either like have it mounted on your your mirror or on your wall or however you do um i decided to get it out of the way and put it on the inside of this cabinet door under the sink so it it it's protected because they have this flap right here that you can put in and keep this little casing closed. And whenever you need it, you just undo this flap and then pull from here. And I'm almost done with this box. So each box, like I said, has 50 in it. So it's like a month and a half. I would say ish yeah just have it mounted here like it's pretty sturdy and staying up there it hasn't fallen once and yeah nice clean skin club towels come in 50 in a box and i think i got the one for three so i will put a link in the description i don't know how much off you can get but i'll put that in the description if you're interested so i'll have it there just in case if you know you think that's not enough off or whatever um you don't waste your time so yeah this is what it looks like and i just close that bad boy and that's how it stays so yeah this is what I, this is my little setup in the morning I have a little YouTube on. I was watching my friend Sarah before. Now I'm watching Janae with Hilo Lux. I do my little Curology system. As you guys know, I think my link still works to get your first month free on this. I think it's clean until the end of the month. So try it out. Um, I use this every day on my skin. Um, the moisturizer, the cleanser, and the special uh, sauce. <laughs> it's your personalized cream um, that comes included. And it's not you're not meant to just use these alone. You're meant to add it in your skincare routine so all right now only thing i'm using on my skin is this curology a cleanser moisturizer the personal cream pixies eye serum this neutrogena sunscreen and cow purifying toner that's it and i only put this on at night right before going to bed so that's it that's all i use um watching janae hey girl i'm gonna go to work Today was a really, it was a really good day. It had an area in the day where I actually just got finished praying and thanking God for how, they, how good today was and just thanking him for his grace and teaching me how to, you know, have grace with other people and, and teaching me how to just be, how to slow down when I'm talking so that I can actually hear him and listen to him. And actually when people hear me, they hear God and they don't just hear me, you know. And I was just talking to him about all that and just about... Uh, everything that I was thankful for and hold on who in the world probably my mama oh. um, but yeah I just had that conversation with him and thanking him for everything today actually was really good it was kind of slow I worked on some budgeting stuff but yeah at one point it was like something that happened with the brand that kind of could have really like irritated me for the rest of the day and honestly I was just like okay Lord let your will be done whatever it, you know some things that happened that was a little bit unfair and you know I kind of understand the situation of COVID and all of that but 
Y'all, brand working with brands can be rewarding. It can be very awesome to be able to introduce y'all to some brands that I already use and love. But like, you know, sometimes these brands are just not nice, especially like this one brand that I worked with quite often. The contact for um, the, the woman that works for them that is the apparently the only person you can contact for this brand is just not a nice person. Sometimes she has her days where she's like, you know, hey, you know, happy, seems like she's cool over email, but other times she's like degrading when it comes to how much I charge or whatever. And my girl, if it's not in the budget, say it's not in the budget, but you don't have to bring all of this other stuff up. You know, she's just, you know, not a nice person on a normal basis. But um, yeah, it just, that brand is just, I like the brand. I use the brand all the time. I'm not gonna say who it is, but the situation is just kind of unfair with what they're doing um, in, in today. But anyways, I was just like, Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done. This is not gonna be the only brand I work with. Wasn't the only brand in 2020. Will not be the only brand in 2021. If they decide to work with me again, I don't know. But you know, I just, I'm learning how to speak up and not just let any old thing happen to me. But at the same time, learning how to have grace with people, but, and just leave stuff in God's hands because you know, Honestly, I don't make enough from them for it to be that big of a deal. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin relationships for anything, even if it was free. You know, I just, I, I, I value people. So anyways, but girl, I of that. <laughs> Today was a good day. I went and got me some Chick-fil-A because I, like I told y'all, I'm going to give myself some grace and take some time just doing whatever through the rest of the holidays, like through into the new year. Because I was doing really good with vegan and stuff like that. And this, I'm not doing this as an experience experiment I'm doing this as like just relax and just you know do to not have something on my head to like have to make sure I have something available for my family because my sister and nieces are coming over for Christmas and, and then I have the vegan stuff over here it's just less worry I'm gonna just do whatever and plus I like to eat so <laughs> I went and got me my Chick-fil-A salad and I'm not I'm not doing this as an experiment but I do want to see just eating this these two weeks normally and I say normally but how I would say how I was eating but not really Really, because I was eating eating so much I was eating at night like late late at night and I was I was eating heavy stuff all the time and I was filling myself up to the point where I was miserable all the time that's how I was eating before but I have not been eating like that since July I think I've been miserable once and my family came over and they made some girl they they just had some stuff honey I was like I got to, I just have to I have to <laughs> but that was at one time that's just like you know <laughs> that's just like eating heavy uh and being miserable on Thanksgiving or something like that but yeah oh okay that's the two times because they <laughs> Thanksgiving I forgot to <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I, I don't eat like that on a regular basis at all. So even when I find myself sometimes like kind of slacking off on what I was eating, I don't, I haven't gained anything. I would go back and check, you know, I haven't really gained anything, maybe a pound, maybe two, which is probably water weight. So I don't know. I might be worried about that anyway. I'm just going to chill during the holidays and just do whatever, but I'm not going to be eating all crazy. My portions are still going to be a decent size. I'm not going to be just be eating huge meals. I was going to say, I'm not a huge sweets person either unless it's cookies because you can get me with cookie honey uh, but yeah I'm just gonna eat the salad and call it a night regarding eating I've been taking b12 vitamin b12 because someone last uh, time was like hey you should be taking b12 for your energy I take b12 and I need to do some more research because what I take is a hundred micrograms uh, not a hundred a thousand micrograms but I've seen that they have larger <laughs> dosages I guess but when I researched it it said people should take 250 and I'm like girl who's getting energy off of that because I'm taking in a thousand and I'm still tired sometimes so I'm gonna have to do some more research on the B12 uh, I take B12 iron because I've always been low in iron I take vitamin C capsules which is like cranberry vitamin C capsules and then some uh, vitamin D and calcium pills as well so I'm gonna take some more of the vitamin C and the vitamin D and magnesium calcium zinc peel thing I take that while I eat until my order is ready at HEB y'all we have another order at HEB because I grocery shopped. I'm going to be a little bit more domestic this time during these next two weeks. And I say domestic as in I'm, I'm a cook. 
a couple times. Don't ex <laughs> I'm not doing this every day. <laughs> I'm gonna cook a couple times. Christmas is gonna be at my house and yeah, so that's where we are with that. But let me go ahead and make this salad because your girl is on hungry, okay? And I'm still watching Girlfriends. Why is it taking me so long? I still, I'm still watching Girlfriends. I think I'm on the seventh season, like kind of almost toward the middle. So Tony is all the way gone, but which y'all know what happened with that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some Girlfriends on, eat this salad and just kind of rest until time. Probably make some uh, reward style posts so that it can go live over the weekend and kind of like just rest while I'm eating. If you guys don't follow me on Reward Style, that's where all of the links of everything I use and having the home and where and all of that, all of the links of that are of those things are on Reward Style. I post a Reward Style around five times a day, mostly. This week I kind of skipped, but mostly I post on Reward Style about five times a day. So the link for that, I say Reward Style. It's the Like to Know It app is the name of the app. You can shop not just me, but all of your favorite influencers. And the thing I like about the app is you're shopping across the network for certain things. So if you can go into the app and you're looking for a, for instance, like my bar stool, you're looking for a velvet bar stool, black velvet bar stool. You could type that in the search bar, all kinds of black velvet bar stools from all kinds of prices and all kinds of retailers and brands are going to come up. You'll be able to see it in real life in, in, in real homes and be able to look at it in pictures that these influencers and content creators have already posted. And from there, you can decide whether you want to shop that item or not, or just save it. You know, it'll send you emails if you have liked an item, if it goes on sale, or send all of the items to you if you ask for that. It doesn't just automatically do that. Um, but you have to ask for, like, have it in your notification, your email notification. But that's what I like to do because it's, you're shopping from the app, but you're shopping across all brands. And it just takes the hard work out of shopping. Honestly, somebody has pretty much already done the hard work for you, which is why I'm here. So, girl, let me eat. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow me on Like to Know It app, then that link is going to be in the description below for you guys. I'm going to get this salad ready so I can go eat. Okay. groceries now just got back from heb the heb as you can see i got plenty of snack for the kids i say kids but it's really only one kid now because tiara is 18 if you guys followed me on instagram plug <laughs> you would have seen that we celebrated tiara's 18th birthday on the 12th of december my baby is now officially legal you know to do some things per the government because she ain't grown in real life. But yes, let me go ahead and put some of this groceries up because yeah, I actually got some ice cream that I need to make sure it doesn't melt because yeah. So let me go ahead and do that. see how much I have worn this camera out. Girl, you can see the insides almost. 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. I, it, I just thought about that because I was turning the camera on to tell you guys good night and in today's vlog. And I looked at the bottom, I was like, whoo girl, like transform us. <laughs> but yeah, got all my groceries up, finally in the bed. My bed feels so good, y'all, ever since I put all the new bedding on it. I feel like I sink in it more. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it, it just feels more plush and more hotel-like. And there's nothing like a hotel bed to me. I've always wanted the softness and the sinkability <laughs> of the hotel bed that you know you get at most nicer upscale up hotels absolutely love it and so yeah got the right pillows now and everything i'll have them linked below if you want to check it out but it's all from walmart like i said except for the red pillow shams those are actually from amazon but god bless me with a wonderful idea that i think will be excellent for us to try in 2021 and i'm not going to say anything about it i'm just going to do it and see how it works and then if it doesn't just stop it <laughs> but i'm not announcing anything else but he just really blessed me with a really beautiful idea and so yeah got all the groceries and stuff done and house to shut down i used to talk to a guy and he was like what did what is, what do you mean by you shut down the house where are you from this is texas you shut down the house he's like what is that you turn off all the lights you make sure everything is put up you got like you make sure the kitchen is clean and, and everything is put up and put back nicely and your tree is turned off and all that like you you literally shut down the house before you go to bed it's like preparing to go to sleep tonight like you put the rest of the house to sleep it's like oh dude you're from texas <laughs> what you, why do you not know this like i feel like it's just a southern thing but like all of my people from the north do you do you guys say that when you're getting ready to go to bed it's like i shut down the house um or shut down downstairs or i shut down the front of the house or whatever before going to bed well we say that we me and my mom say that i don't know if it's just country or if it's just a southern thing or if it's just a morgan thing i don't know <laughs> We say we shut down the house before going to bed. That's that's the thing. Oh, also, I wanted to let you guys know that the playlist that I was actually dancing to when I was putting up my groceries is a Christian hip hop playlist that I've created on YouTube. So I listen to a station, a local station here in Houston called Engine Radio. And they also have a sister station called KSBJ. They're both Christian inspirational music stations. And one is more, I want to say, uh, inspirational, uplifting, that kind of music. And then Engine Radio is more of hip-hop, pop-type music for those that like the beats, like the, you know, like to hear that bass to make you feel like you're really listening to something that you enjoy, but it has a positive, godly message behind it and in it and all that. And so I listen to both stations all the time i usually listen to engine radio like i alternate them but during the holidays i will mostly listen to engine radio because ksbj will play a whole bunch of christmas music and me and bing crosby don't go together so i so i will listen to engine radio so if you're in houston and you're looking for more uplifting music definitely check out those radio stations it's ksc is in boy j and engine radio um just google engine radio I forgot how they spell it because <clears throat> I don't think it's the traditional engine spelling. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are interested in just hearing those artists, because you can like, you don't have to just listen to the, you know, the radio to hear those artists that I was dancing to. You can just go to the playlist. I have a, I have the playlist and I made it public and I think I'll be adding more, more songs to the playlist before you guys actually see this vlog. So by then, right now I only have nine songs on there. By then it should be more. Um, you guys can check out those artists. Lecrae is on there. It's uh, KB, I think, is on there. A few other people that are new to me. But, yeah. That K-Lo-K, -K, I don't know what they're saying in that song. But that's my jam. And God Fearing is my favorite. And the other one, the one where I talk to God, love it. That's that's my absolute favorite. But, yeah. I just think that, oh, and uh, Shibuya Roll Call, they make me think of New York. Love it. So, anyway, uh, you guys can check that out in the playlist area of my channel if you want to check it out. I have the Christian hip hop and inspirational hip hop playlist. So, you guys can check that out and listen to it whenever you can because I, I have to have good inspirational music that I'm listening to. I can't listen to people call me all kind of bees and hoes. I just can't anymore. I can't anymore because I was before and that stuff builds up in you. And then when you need rescuing, it's like you have nothing to run to because you've been building yourself up with so much negativity animosity stuff that cause worry anxiousness low self-esteem things that make you hate yourself because the message isn't positive so yeah so if you guys want to listen to that perfect for kids 
um, that love the beat and love the hip hop, but do not need to hear the message behind a lot of the rap songs that are out there today. Yeah, perfect for them. I like you can have your six year old in the car listening to this music and the message that they're getting behind it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Just so beautiful. So y'all that's all i'm actually gonna call it a night and look i'm look i don't feel like i got further and further in my sheets <laughs> i'm gonna call it a night y'all but um i hope you guys have a blessed evening and i will see you guys on the next vlog bye